Hello, my dear students. Welcome to another episode of Terabyte Series Elective ICT Practical. My name is Setin Crying. And today I'm going to take you through the 2015 Private Candidate Elective ICT Paper 3. And today we'll be looking at the question three, which happens to be the Q basic question. I will first of all read the questions before I give you the solutions. And the question says that this is the 2015 private candidate school, private candidate WASI examination. And we have already solve the HTML question, and then we have solved the database question in our previous episode. But today I am here to give out the solution for the question three, and it reads, write a QBasic program to sort the number of elements n in descending order. Display the result on screen in the format given below. Number, and we have 20, 30, 5, 10, 50, and 25. We need to sort these numbers in descending order. So obviously 50 come first, 30, 26, 20, 10, and five in that order. And after that, save the program as sorted in the folder created. Right, now let's look at the, or let's go to the QBasic console. Let's go to the QBasic console. So I'll open my QBasic. And obviously, uh, let me put my question at the other side, which is right, so that we can look at the question hand in hand whilst we solve the question. So this is the QBasic console. And remember, I'm using the 64-bit QBasic. So if you have not downloaded it yet, I showed you in the previous video how to download it in Google, quickly download it and then practice at home. All right. So I'll always start with my first QBasic reserved word, uh, word, which is CLS, which simply means clear screen. And I bring my RIM statement, which is a remark. Remark is always put in double quotations. And then my remark is program to sort a number of elements N in descending order right then i declare my input statement which obviously will allow the user to enter the numbers that we are going to sort input which is also a reserve word then i'll put it in double quotation enter the number of digits to sort And it variable, sorry, it should be comma. And it variable, I will use N. Okay, let me use the capital N. Great. And then using the for loop, 
I am going to declare the for loop for x equals one to n. So this is how we declare the for loop. Obviously, you see the right sign. Remember, four goes with nest, so I have to end with nest s. But I have to declare the numbers that I want to input. Input a into bracket s. Then now I can close my for loop with nest s. Right. Then I declare another for loop for s equals one to n. So the two numbers that we are going to print, I put them aside and I use a variable b into bracket s should be equal to a into bracket s because we are coming to print the numbers side by side and then i'll close my nest nest s great all right so using the bubble sorts We use the bubble sort to sort the numbers. So let me just comment. If you keep this when you are comment, then you bring your, your single quotes. And then I will say that using the bubble, the bubble sort. No, I think it's one B bubble sort for s equals one to n for y equals one to n minus X. If I'm introducing the if condition to be able to sort the number, if A, which has been declared at the top, AY into brackets is less than, remember the first episode, because we are sorting in, we are sorting in ascending order, we use a greater than sign. Now we are sorting in descending order. So I'm going to use the less than sign to be able to sort the numbers in descending order. So I say that A into bracket Y plus one. Okay, let me open and close my bracket nicely. Great. So if statement always goes with then, so if so, so if this statement then is a syntax. If you are forgotten, get the elective ICT textbook. You will know this condition, how to use this condition. Thank you. Then we should swap. We should swap the numbers e into bracket y comma a into bracket y plus one we'll close our bracket then we always end if with end if right then we have to also end our four loops the two four loops that we open here so I say next, next y, next s. Great. 
Then I can now click screen CLS again for the printing to be done. So CLS prints. The number which is given in the question. So we should print a number and then the sorted. So I will bring my double quotation and type number. And then I bring my comma and then type the sorted number. Sorted. That's how they said we should print it. And when we look at the question, there is an underline with us, asterisk. So I say print again. My double quotation and introduce my asterisk. And bring my comma again. Introduce my double quotation and put my asterisk inside. And then press the enter key. Right. So now the first header is being jumped. So we move on to the last thing to do. Now we issue the for loop to print the sorted number. Then we see for s equals one to end print b into bracket s comma a into bracket s then we end our for loop with the next s right then we can end the program end so this we have come to the end of the coding we have satisfied all that is required so now we can save the work remember i said we should save the program as sorted in our folder so quickly we go to file we click on save then we come and look for our folder. We come to the path here. There is two dots. We always use the left to go back. If you want to move forward, we use the right. So we are going back. We click on it, then it opens the desktop and look for the folder, which is this one, FOT 105017. I opened it and then type the file name sorted they say we should name it as sorted because previously we named it as sorted i'm going to add sorted one because we have already we have i have sorted in the folder already so it will create double so i click on okay to save the way so now we can run, go to run and start running the program. And you see that it is executing here. The program is creating the executable files here. Great. So this is our resource which is going to be printed on screen he said enter the number of digits to sort and remember we have we have six numbers one two three four five six so i type six and press the enter key and then begin by typing the unsorted numbers the first number is 20 the second number is 30 the third number is five. The fourth number is 10. Fifth number is 50. And the last number is 25. If I press the enter key, it sorts it nicely for me. So I have my unsorted number and then the sorted in descending order. You know, 50 is the biggest number. It runs down to five, which is the smallest number. So it means that our program is successfully 
executed. Uh, please always, if, if you find problem in your code, take your time, pause, and then go through your programming codes, go through your programming codes and check whether there's a problem anywhere. You fix them and come back to run. Uh, I want to end here. And I thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next episode. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.